A brand new toolbar has been developed and added to Paramount called Dynamic Machine Control. This toolbar enables the user to quickly and easily adjust the tool axis of an existing toolpath in order to avoid any potential collisions that the machine tool might encounter. This functionality is not tool dependent. You can use it with end mills, tip radius and other spherical tooling. So to demonstrate, I'm first going to simulate the toolpath from the start. And as you can see, Paramill has detected a collision between the machine tool and the component. I'm now going to open up the dynamic machine control toolbar where I will alter the tool axis to avoid these collisions. Firstly, I'm actually just going to choose a longer tool that I have in store. To check that this tool has no collisions, I can just grab the tip of the tool, like so. And I can dynamically move it around the toolpath while it remains in constant contact with each toolpath segment until it is either free of collisions or detects collisions like it is now. Because of these collisions, I'm going to revert back to my original and more appropriate tool. I'm just going to open up the machine tool position form where you can see the range of movement in each axis as I will dynamically move the machine tool through the toolpath. Each axis has a slider which is limited by the limits of the machine tool as defined in the MTD file. I can move the slider to control the machine tool along a particular axis or I can also enter a position in this field here. So if I grab the tip of this tool and move it to the first collision point, I'm now going to use the grab handles like so to tilt and rotate the machine tool away from the component until it is no longer in collision. If I select the tip of the tool, I'm now going to dynamically move it across the tool path until I experience another collision. Then I will just rotate and tilt it once more. I can then grab the tip again and continue down the tool path until I experience another collision where I will tilt it away and then I can finish going through the toolpath until I'm happy that it is collision free. So with this particular machine it is asymmetrical and I would like this steep face facing away from the component. All I have to do is select this button here and I will swap the machine tool configuration for me. This function removes the need to use orientation vectors when programming the toolpath. There are also some advanced settings I can apply. One of them is to restrict the axial movement to a certain increment. So if my machine can only be programmed in two degree increments, then I just enter that value here, turn on that axis, close it, and then whenever I move the machine tool, only valid positions will be applied to it. So I am happy with my tool axis orientation now, so I can just update my toolpath with that. However, on this part, I'd also like to create a toolpath that machines this side of the part. So to get the tool axis orientation I need for this side, I'm just going to grab the tool again. I'm going to move it over to this side. I'm going to rotate it and tilt it until I am happy that it will be collision free. So if I just move it along the part, the tip of the tool will run along the surface. And we can see that it is collision free. I can now create a new work plane, either at the tool tip or aligned with the tool. And using that work plane, the tool axis will be fixed when I create a new tool path. It is also worth pointing out at this moment that the update tool path function is only available for spherical tooling. 
with non-spherical tooling, you will need to position the machine tool and then create a new work plane and a tool path based on that work plane. So I'm just going to accept the changes I've made. The tool path is updated and then I can simulate it from the start or I'll see that there are no collisions remaining.